Hello guys, welcome to the Honorable Civil Engineers YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Kani's method. So, here in this video, we will limit our study up to introduction and advantages of Kani's method. And in the next video, we will solve a problem and analyze a structure using Kani's method. So, let's start. So, first of all, when it comes to introduction, Kani's method was introduced by Gaspar Kani in 1940s. So, it was introduced by Gaspar Kani so that the name was Kani's method. So, he discovered this method in 1940s. Okay. Next, Kani's method is also known as rotation contribution method. So, because, so in this uh, Kani's method, while analyzing a structure, we will distribute the rotation contribution at joints. It involves distributing the unknown fixed end moments of structural members to adjacent joints in order to satisfy the continuity of slopes and displacement. So, for example, if we see here, this is a continuous beam and uh, these are the joints okay in the middle so this fixed ends on both sides so here the deflection curve for this beam if the loading is like this and the deflection curve will be like this right now so what is the meaning of this point is so as as the beam is continue over these joints okay because of the slope generated okay at this joint there is a moment which is induced in this joint so likewise so in this joint whenever the load is uh, acted and it will be deflect like this due to that a moment is induced in this support so that in that way here the moment will be distributed across the joints so that is the meaning of this point okay next it is used to analyze statically indeterminate frames of different structures so here they are saying that it is uh, used to analyze statically indeterminate frames so what are the statically indeterminate frames means so the frames which cannot be analyzed by just using the simple three equilibrium equations those are a summation of horizontal and vertical and moments is equal to zero so those uh, three equilibrium equations so are used to analyze a structure alone then it will be called as determinate frame but here it is indeterminate frame because it cannot be analyzed using three equilibrium equations alone so that that is called statically indeterminate frame to analyze this type of statically indeterminate frames, the best method is Kani's method. Okay, it is adopted for high-rise multi-story buildings. So here, this method is uh, very much useful to analyze frames for multi-story buildings. Okay, so high-rise multi-story buildings. That means number of stories is greater. these are base these horizontal ones are base first base second base third base in first floor second floor third floor and fourth floor okay and this is ground floor so to analyze this type of multi story frames kanye's method is best suitable and easy okay that's the meaning of that point so this is the introduction part and uh, let's go through the advantages of kanye's method okay so here, these are the advantages of Kani's method. So first and foremost advantage is Kani's method is uh, simple and easy without much tedious calculations when compared to other methods. So others, other methods like slope, slope deflection method, okay, moment distribution method will have so much of formulas and uh, so much of tedious difficult calculations, okay. But here, only one step will consist of calculating very easy. 
and all the computations of this method are carried out in a single line diagram of the structure so this point you will get in the next video while we are analyzing a structure that means while we are doing problems you will get a complete idea about this because in Kanish method there is a step which have, which is uh, completely with iterations of uh, distributing rotation contributions so there there is a only one di line diagram of the beam like this so this will be explained in the next video while solving a problem using Kanish method okay so these are joints and these are the fixed ends like this so we have to draw the joints and at last one end that may be fixed or hinged or pin sorry rolled end okay so like this uh, we will draw a line diagram and here only we will calculate the moments okay so we will first uh, distribute the rotation contribution according to their rotation factors and then we will uh, club all those to get the final moments okay next so hardy cross method distributes only the unbalanced moments at the joints whereas Kanye's method distributes the total joint moment at any stage of iteration so here in a hardy cross method so we will only distribute the unbalanced moments at a joint okay to the other members but whereas in Kanye's method we will distribute the total joint moment at any stage of iteration okay the more significant feature of Kanish method is that the process is self-corrective. So this point defines that. So I have drawn this. Like this. Okay. So while, while we are calculating these contrib rotation contributions. So if any error occurred, that means we have taken a wrong value instead of the uh, calculated value we are uh, writing here the wrong value then for the next iteration under uh, the foremost iterations so those errors will be automatically eliminated okay so in that way this Kanish method is designed okay next as the framed structures are almost symmetric and subjected to side sway hence uh, Kanish method is the best and simpler method when compared with other methods. So obviously, so framework structures means those will be not symmetrical uh, in almost all the cases. Okay. And, and also they will have the side sway. Okay. Due to the unsymmetric loading, they will have the side sway. Hence, Kanish method is the best and simple method when compared to other methods to analyze the type of frame. Okay. These are the advantages and introduction part of Kanish method for the next video we will do a problem and analyze the given frame using Kanish method okay thank you for watching this video guys if you have any doubts and if you want to see any civil engineering concepts in form of animation please comment that topic name in comments below i will definitely do an animation video on that topic so please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.